Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today, uh, this is the chapter on cell structure and functions. So in this lecture, which we will discuss about parts of cell. Okay, till now we have discussed about shape of the cell, size of the cell, number of cells and what is the cell and the discovery of the cells. Okay students, so now let's move to parts of the cell. So there are three parts in a cell. What is, one is cell membrane. Okay, second is cryptoplasm. Third is nucleus. Okay students, so we will discuss each in detail now okay so let me start with cell membrane so as I have told you in my previous lecture that the shape of the cell is decided by cell membrane so membrane helps in the in getting the shape of the cells okay so let me draw a cell first, okay. There is one nucleus in the center which I will tell you later on. So the boundary of the cell is called the boundary of cell is called as cell membrane okay I have told you earlier that the membrane gives cell membrane gives shape to the cell shape to the cell okay in addition to the cell membrane in addition to cell membrane there is one more thick wall there is an outer thick wall outer thick wall in cells of plants called in cells of plants called cell wall ok students so this additional layer surrounding the cell membrane means the cell wall required by plants for protection ok plant cells need protection against variations in temperature so this cell walls in temperature in plants cell walls in plants helps in protection with variation in temperature high speed wind atmospheric moisture etc Okay, so these are the main functions of cell wall. Okay, so till now we have discussed about cell membrane and there is one more thick layer which is called cell wall. It act in the plants as a protection layer. Okay, so now we will discuss about cryptoplasm. So let me uh, delete all this first. So student, what is cryptoplasm? The jelly like substance present in a cell between nucleus and the cell membrane so this is the nucleus and so this part is called cryptoplasm okay 
and the definition of this is it is the jelly like substance present between the cell membrane and nucleus of the cell and the nucleus of cell okay so various other components or organelles of cells are present in cryptoplasm like these are example mitochondria golgi bodies so students we will discuss about these mitochondria and golgi bodies in our further classes okay so till now for class 8 this much information about crypto cryptoplasm is sufficient for you guys okay now let's discuss about nucleus okay so here is the nucleus student as i have shown you earlier it is the nucleus okay it is an important component of the living cell it is generally generally spherical as i have shown here it is generally spherical and located in center uh, of cell okay so it can be stained and seen easily with the help of a microscope because the size of the cell is very small so you can see the nucleus also with the help of a microscope nucleus is separated from the cryptoplasm by a membrane called nucleus membrane so student there is one more membrane around the nucleus which separate it's from the cryptoplasm okay this membrane is porous and allows the movement of materials means porous means it has minute minute holes means okay so it allows the movement between the cryptoplasm and the inside of the nucleus okay so now i hope that you have the, uh, know uh, about what is nucleus and with a microscope of higher magnification we can see a smaller spherical body in the nucleus it is called nucleolus so with the higher magnification microscope you can see that there is one more spherical body in the nucleus means a more spherical body in the nucleus this is called nucleolus in addition nucleus contains like thread like structures called chromosomes so in nucleus there is thread like structures called chromosomes okay so these carry genes and help in inheritance of transfer of characters from parents to the offspring so uh, you have uh, seen that a child somewhat looks like his parents so how he looks like his parent is only because of these chromosomes okay these chromosomes can be seen when the cell divides okay when the cell divides these chromosomes can be seen by microscope microscopes okay so student till now we have discussed about nucleus cryptoplasm and cell membrane and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this the new can comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there and enjoy the learning experience with scholars learning by downloading the app from play store or app store thank you students stay blessed enjoy the learning